Brandon here, Mr. Beast Fix It. Spark plugs, spark plug gap. I'm gonna talk to you about a couple of things that are kind of a little bit of a lost art, actually. I got a little bit of skipping the Volkswagen here today, and here's what we're gonna do about it. Okay, so discovered we had a little bit of a skip in the Volkswagen today. Did some old fashioned tests. Grab a hold of a spark plug wire, pulled it off, see if it was changing the way it was running at all, put it back on, see what it's acting like. And discovered that on our number four plug cylinder, it wasn't really making any difference when we pulled the plug out. So we decided to change the plug. Took the plug out, changed it for a new one. But when we did that, I want to talk to you about something here that we did as well. It's a bit of a lost art, and that is setting the gap in a spark plug. These are plug gap setters. So they're measured. All it is is it's thin at one end and gets thick towards the other. Thin at one end, gets thick towards the other. Now that's an old fashioned thing, and what it is is we take the, and we're setting the distance inside of there. We're setting the gap. Now out of the box, it actually gives a little bit of information. See right there? It talks about setting the gap. 0.6 millimeters or 24 thousandths of an inch. It also talks about how tight to put them. 21 foot pounds, 28 newton meters. You don't need to try to over tighten them. You get pretty used to getting a feel for how hard to set them in. However, the correct procedure is to use a torque wrench and set them at that foot pounds or newton meters. So setting the plug gap. Here's how we do that. All right, sort of set you down here so we can see. So you see the gap in between here? What we do is we take this piece and we slide it in and that gives us a measurement. And right along here on the standard side, we've come up to 23 24 thousandths of an inch. Let's refer back to our box. What does it say that it's at? 24 thousandths of an inch. Not too far off right out of the box. Out of the box comes wrapped like this. Pull the paper off. So now, let's see. Without leaving the frame, took the paper off. What are we at? Right off the bat, I can barely get it in there. So that's more like 2021. Now you want to check your car, check your owner's manual, or depending on how your engine is built or your engine builder, they will have told you what to set them at. But they're not necessarily correct right out of the box, are they? And all I can do to get that in there. So this is just a quick and dirty tool that we kept around. It's got millimeters on one side, thousandths of an inch on the other. However, I also kept these feeler gauges around when we had to deal with this sort of thing. If you were setting the point gap on a distributor or if you were setting the gap on your plugs, common thing to have to do with standard ignitions, then you kept some of this stuff around. Now I've got some much better equipment. I'm gonna go measure all this up, put them in. Something else you have to do with these plugs. When you first get them, they have this cap on here. It just screws on. You need to remove that for the type of wires we're using, or you at least need to check and see what your wires do, how they install. Do they install over that, or, you know, on these old plug type wires I have in these old vehicles, they want this sort of look versus that. Something to look for. They just come off pretty easily with a pair of pliers. These are a pair of pliers. Grab hold the plug in one hand and turn them off. If you install your plugs one at a time, removing the wire, like so, pull it off, inspect it, good time to see how it's going to fit on your plug, what sort of cap it needs, install your socket in there, remove it, set the gap on your new plug, install the new one, then you won't have any problems. However, if for some reason, you didn't do it that way and you perhaps changed them all at once or you changed your plug wires and you didn't do them one at a time then right here is your firing order on the engine 
and right on these covers, these tins, is marked which plug is which. Let's see if we can get in there and see that. In case you can't, you know what? Let's go for a quick little walk and I'll show you. Here's a different engine we have, same engine for something else, but we've clearly marked them. See, three and four on the other side, one and two, and it's the same on all these Volkswagen engines. And on most of the time on an intake somewhere, it's gonna say, or it's gonna number each cylinder, and there's gonna be a firing order. Then on your distributor cap, if you found number one, it's gonna go around in that order. Get the idea? So here's what I'm doing. It's a brand new spark plug. Do you see this crush collar right here? Some plugs do not have that. These plugs have that and where it's brand new, you're going to be crushing that crush collar, hence its name. And that's the reason why they're telling you to check for torque. If you're very experienced at that, you can feel this. However, I do not recommend that you go by feel if you do not have any experience in this area. In this particular car, somebody had put them all in too lightly. Now, I would prefer them to be installed too lightly or too loosely than overly tightened. But there is a definite feel thing. And I'm just crushing these collars and you get a bit of a feel for it. It's very hard to describe. And I'm not really gonna try to because I don't really want you to do that. I'd like you to use a small torque wrench go by the recommended torque spec. It's entirely possible, part of the problem with this one, I talked about them being too tight. How about too loose? Stuck the uh, plug socket down in here, turned it to make sure that it was on the plug well, and discovered that I could turn it out here by hand. Let's take a look at that plug. Pretty dirty. Not carboned up too bad though. So that's a bit of the problem. So that's a little bit to know about setting a point gap on a spark plug or really anything. The points in an old distributor or something. Setting the gap is important. The gap is how far the fire has to jump across in order to make a good spark. And it's changes and it's dependent on whatever vehicle you're using. So oh, you tell me you're running any smoother now that we changed all the plugs? Maybe a little. Not quite as much of a skip. We'll move on to the wires next.